Yeah, it's like this. I'm saying, how much you love a real nigga, though? Huh? You love me, how much you love me? Bitch, stop lying. <laughs> All right, y'all. Here's the engine that I intend to put the AliExpress stroker crank into. Um, but uh, before I cracked the case, I looked through my gaskets, and I am missing the gasket for for right here. I, I've got the center gasket, but not the uh, the oil pump cover gasket. So I went ahead and ordered those. They won't be here until Thursday. So in the meantime, what I'm going to do is. I'm going to start welding up the motor mount for the spree um, so that we can build our Chanda QM spree. Stay tuned. Gaskets arrived. Yee yee. Cranks in the freezer. Bada bing, bada boom. Official living room garage ready for business. Let's go ahead and tear this motor down. And let's not forget, children. Impact electronic tools for disassembly only. And maybe for things like variator and clutch. But uh, for the most part, this assembly only. Engine is split. We're ready to clean up this table and then clean off some gaskets. All right, time to remove this old gasket so that I can install the mostly official AliExpress stroker crank. Um, this gasket is not too badly caked on there so this shouldn't be too difficult I'll be back case is all cleaned gaskets all removed we are ready to install this crank stay tuned I'm ready to do this a um, couple things before I do though um, number one uh, I'm not delusional this is a cheap, cheap, cheap crank from AliExpress. It was $20. I think, uh, I think shipping was like 30 ish bucks, but I got a few other things too. I, I, I don't know. So let, let's call it a $50 crank. Either way, it's, it's cheap, cheap. 
Um, that being said, I did compare it to a stock crank. It's got the same bearings, um, etc. It it appears to be at least the same quality as a stock crank. And I've had very little issue with stock cranks on these QMBs. Um, I have had one fail, um, but uh, there were reasons for that. Um, most notably, uh, um, over revving, um, high temps, um, just, just doing stupid stuff. So keep that in mind. Um, the other thing I'd like to mention is when assembling these engines, or any engine really, um, don't use an impact wrench to tighten your case bolts. Um, get yourself a uh, torque wrench. Um, unfortunately, I bought this cheap piece of crap and man, it's just, it, it's incorrect. Um, so buy a good one. Um, so in this video, you're going to see me do it with, uh, with just a, a, a regular socket wrench. I've done it a bunch of times. I, I kind of know what to feel for. Um, are, am I torquing it to the proper torque? 100%? Uh, probably not, but, uh, that's the way I'm going to do it because this thing is just a piece of junk. Um, I've got better ones, but, uh, of course I loaned them out to somebody and they, they never came back. So one of these days I'm going to have to, uh, play collections. But, uh, with, with all that said, uh, I think that's all that, that, uh, that I need to tell you. And, uh, I'm going to jump right into this. So stay tuned and I'm going to get this cheap stroker crank installed and we'll, we'll see how, how well it runs, how long it runs. Uh, we're going to be doing a lot of tests. So, uh, this video is just going to be the building of the engine. There will be a second video in the coming days of the install onto a frame and and first start up and run so uh, like subscribe share and let me know what you think give me your opinions uh, even if they're negative so thanks for watching <laughs>
SA88 mostly official stroker engine is fully assembled. Uh, all that's left to do now is a valve adjustment. Um, get the cooling shrouds on, figure out what we're going to do for the CVT, and pop her onto a frame. But uh, the, the engine itself is, is built. It's, uh, it's just all about tuning now. Let's see what happens.